so we just ended our boat tour and there's a restaurant actually right next door. And we decided to get, these are called Gator Bites. There is some barbecue and then we ordered some ranch. The ranch is coming, but I've never eaten them. Apparently they're good. We should show just Phil's face. Oh, so good. You can't really tell what it is. No? It's meat, deep fried, dipped in barbecue. Anything, uh, anything gator. deep fried is. Tastes like clams a little bit. Clams a little bit. Okay. Whoa. 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 Gator no. overboard. Here is my lunch. We are getting seafood for dinner, so I decided to go seafoodless. But there is a little bit of coleslaw. I get my burger with no bun because I've got jaw problems. And then I put all the accoutrements on this side, so I will eat some of that. But you know, I don't like it on there. You know. Show them what I got for lunch. What'd you get for lunch, Phil? I haven't got anything yet. Oh, so sad. The favorite brother with the favorite lunch. <laughs> so sad. His, his lunch is coming up. So I have been sent on a mission to the grocery store. I need to pick up a couple of things. My mom went to take a nap. My brother and my dad are both watching this movie that is really unappealing. And I am currently, even though I'm at the grocery store and not at home, uploading my Vlogmas Day 21 video. So, I am gonna go around Publix. I think I only have like six things to get. Um, there's like a recipe, um, that rum cake recipe that we were talking about yesterday in the vlog. I need to pick up the recipe things that are from Carlos's recipe. So that is what's gonna happen. I'm actually kind of excited to get out of the house because that movie that my parents, or not my parents, my brother and dad are watching is first of all, not my cup of tea. And second of all, my dad has the volume up so high, I can't even stand it. And their house is like all tile, so like the flooring is, so everything just echoes like crazy. So anyway, I am gonna get into the grocery store and I might dilly-dally in here for a little while. Well, I'm back from my Publix run. Sorry about the weird lighting. It's like a weird time of day and the sun is kind of lowish. It's 3.40, but the sun really goes down at like five something here. Anyway. I am done at Publix. I wish I would have just walked around sooner, but I gotta tell you, okay, so I'm from the North. There is no Publix in the North, but whoever the CEO and like upper management of Publix is, like you're doing a fantastic job. I have to say all of your employees are super, super nice. Even the people that were stocking in the aisles were just fantastic. They would move out of your way. They would say hello. They would ask you if you needed help with anything. And the grocery store, by the way, is like really busy right now. I'm parked really far away from the entry. And again, I'm from the North. So like, I don't have a Publix and I don't know if this is like a nationwide thing with Publix or not, but they bag your groceries for you, number one, which is like pretty much amazing. There's no local grocery store in the state of Minnesota that does that, at least in the cities. Um, Trader Joe's does it for you and then and Target does but Target just bags everything for you anyway like I guess Walmart does too but Target and Walmart are like kind of a separate own animal I feel like but they bag everything up for you which is really nice and they ask you you know if you want paper or plastic they're always very very respectful super super nice and then they offer to take your bags out for you like whether you're holding them like carrying them or they walk out to your car and load them in for you I declined because I only had two bags. I'll show you what I got in just a second. But the gal behind me had a ton of groceries because obviously she's getting ready for the holiday. And the guy that was bagging up my stuff went ahead and went to her cart and helped her load everything on the belt. Like, it was just so nice. And every time I've been here, um, they just built this Publix in DeLand not that long ago. And my mom has been going here ever since and it just says like the service is great. And the other cool thing is, the prices are really competitive with like Walmart and Target and all the other, you know, grocery stores in the area. So it's not like that much more expensive or even less expensive. It's super competitive, but their employees are super pleasant. So it makes me want to shop here. Anyway, 
I totally know I just went off on Publix, but like it is such a nice experience. And if you have Publix in your area, let me know in the comments if your Publix is like this. Is this just like a really cool thing that we need to like start writing Publix letters and say go nationwide to every single 50 states because that would be amazing. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. I got milk. I'm not gonna show you that because it's silly. Um, okay, so I'll start with what I came here for. There are a couple of things like splurge little things that I got. Um, my mom requested bananas, so I got bananas. We also, for the new recipe for the rum cake, needed some walnuts. These are not crushed walnuts, but it's easy enough to crush them ourselves. Sorry about the lighting, like my face literally is like steaming hot right now. Um, we also needed a jello vanilla pudding and it said the, oh no, I got the wrong one. This is 5.1 ounces. Hmm. I think I got the one that was a little bit too big. Uh oh. All right. I think, um, I might go in and buy another one. Maybe I'll just take a little bit out. I think I'll just take a little bit out because I think it was like four point something ounces. Let me check my list. 4.5 ounces. We can take five ounces out of this. Sorry. Grab the wrong box. It looked like it was the right thing. It was, you know what it was? The, um, the chocolate one was the right ounces and then this was the vanilla right next to it. Anyway, but it was the same size box, so I don't really understand, but the package inside is a little different. All right. Also, for the recipe, we needed a yellow, super moist, or just a yellow cake mix, but I got the super moist, because really that's all they had. All right, and my splurgy things, I got milk too, but my splurgy things was when I was wandering around the aisles, which I should have took, taken, should have taken, I can't talk today. Um, I was wandering on the deli, which everyone was. It was like super busy at the deli. And I thought this looked really good. It was the Publix brand deli cranberry cheddar cheese with natural cranberry flavor. It's a holiday edition. I thought this looked really good. Um, and then I also got, in case this is like a total dud, I got this Publix Deli imported aged cheddar cheese. And then the crackers I decided to get were these Vinta, 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 Vinta crackers, the eight grains and seeds. I don't know. I figured that'd be like a nice little snacky snack. I'm just gonna make do with the jello pudding stuff. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. And then I got a gallon of 2%. Oh. Oh. And then I got a gallon of the 2% Publix milk, which, okay, here's a, here's an actual complaint. You guys wanna hear a complaint? Where they have all the milk at is in like a corner by an entry slash exit for all of the employees, like, you know, like the back stock area. And it's so hard to get into that little area for like regular consumers to like grab the milk. Um, I had to wait for like three people to get milk before I could even get milk. And then I had to like put my cart over to the side and have my cart sit somewhere else where so I could like, my body could physically go open a door and grab the milk that I wanted. That was a little weird. I think that was just a little bit of poor planning on their part, but that was my only like little like, oh, that's just like really bad planning, but you know. We've all been in grocery stores that have really bad plans. So, all right, let me grab you guys and I am gonna take you home and I am probably gonna work for a little while. This manual is like killing me by the way. But, um, you know, I'm just plugging away at it. I actually did, I think already an hour, two hours today. And um, I'm gonna do a little bit more too because we've got a little while until our dinner thing and we're gonna go get some seafood tonight, which will be really good. So, all right, that closes out my Publix experience and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hi. So things are different now, mom's with. We are gonna be going to a Italian restaurant called Forno Bello in downtown Deland for dinner. My dad and brother decided to go to a movie in lieu of going to the seafood place that we wanted to go to. And the seafood place closed at nine and it took like 45 minutes to get there and it's just like a logistical nightmare. So we may still go there at some point, but it's just not gonna happen today. So I will show you in a little bit how all of the food looks because you can't go wrong with Italian. Right, mom? Right, right. So this is my lobster ravioli and these like crazy lobster oli things. I don't know what to call them. 
Got a huge chunk of lobster right there, which looks amazing. And some sort of sauce, which I'm sure is delish. That is my mom's. She got the shrimp scampi. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing. Yum, yum, yum. Good choice, mom. Good choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Almost fell. <laughs> oh, Christ is a bird. All right, so we are done with dinner. It was delicious. Highly recommend it. Forno Bello. Forno Bello in Deland, Deland, Deland yeah. Florida. Deland, Florida. So anyway, um, I'm gonna wrap it up here. My battery is dying because I was dumb and didn't actually like recharge my battery from today. So anyway, you guys would have already seen all that footage. So I'm going to call it a day for today and I will see you tomorrow in the vlog. Bye.